Hello everyone! Welcome to my creative crafty girl. The video will be Monday and Friday. This is my very first video and I'm very excited to share with you all the wonderful craft I will make it. And this is going to be really really fun for all you can learn and something that you can decorate or something that you can share with other people you like but it's something really really fun and it's gonna be all about falls because very soon it will be fall season so here's all the materials I want to show with you all We're going to be making a pumpkin uh, decorating of the banners. All you need is a print of papers of a shape of a pumpkin, green paper, it could be uh, hard stock paper or a printer paper with colorfuls. And you could trace with this uh, with a pencil. And you need a little uh, print with the leaves. And then you can put stencil on that. Also, you can need uh, these uh, fall leaves. I got it from Dollar Tree. Also, you can get it from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Joran Fabric. And this, I got it from the Hobby Lobby. And these are all banners. They all have different kinds, and they all have tens in, in one bag, ten of each banners in one bag. So I got this from Hobby Lobby. And also you need a green paper. It could be a cardstock or a printing green paper. Also you need pencils, scissors, green markers. And these call a zip dry. It's good for only for paper, scrapbook, paper, cardstock paper, anything that is made with paper. And it's called and it comes from Beacon. Beacons is a brand of special glue. And it's very good. It's bonded. It stays the paper stick together real good. Tape and strings. It could be any color strings you like. So let's get started. And I am very enthusiastic to show you all a wonderful craft. Ready? Let's go. Now we need some of these little stencil. If you make it with, uh, you could print it. Or if you're very good to drawing, you can make your own stencil with your drawing or you can print it through the computer. So I'll take this little leaf, trace it on a green paper and trace it all around the line. And you could trace the leaves as many as you want. All around the line. Now I have three leaves. Now you take a scissor and cut it out.
See? Here you go. Now you cut more. I made three leaves. So to make a banner. Another one. As long as you are not, if, if, if you have a children and it likes to learn how to cut, it doesn't have to be very perfect, but you will, later on you will trace with marker around the edge of the, the leaves. So make it look real nice. Remember, this is your talent. It doesn't have to be really perfect. So now I got three of these leaves. I take this paper. I put it on the top so it doesn't match on your table or anything. So I put it on here. And I take a green marker and I'll trace it all around the edge of the leaves. See? All the edge around the leaves. And then on this paper, you see how I did? I did the line around it and make it look like a fall leaf. It can be red, orange, yellow, or green. I use it green because it looks more prettier. So you put a line in the middle all the way down and then you put it out to this side this side this side and then another one the other side here 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 you go Usually it's kind of a little different. It can be any different uh, leaves. It could be a different design. So you could put a little more on this side. See? There's another one. And you could repeat as same as you could do like these. And then you do it again, like this, and lying down. And then a little line in the middle. Then you do another one.
all around. And then the line down. Remember, it could be any different kinds. Now, we got four leaves extra. Now you need a banner. What I did is I had yellow, orange. You can have all yellow or all orange. It's up to you what you really like, what you think is your banner, make it look more prettier. So what I did is it looks more like a candy cane. I'm not a candy cane, sorry. <laughs> um, more like a candy corn. You know, the Halloween style, but I usually I put it for the falls. So all I'll do is I take it the separate way of different colors, divided in different ways. I have one in orange, yellow, orange, yellow. And these are the little printer of the paper that I did. I print out on a yellow paper or white paper, either way you like. And I took a special crayon and I made it look like a watercolor. And I made it like this with my finger all around it. And then I took a, a, a marker, a black permanent marker, and I make it a letter F. Or you can use a stencil stickers, uh, letters with stickers. Or you can use with permanent marker and write it with a letter. So now what I'll do is I take a zip dry. And I take a little bit of little dots of glue on the back of the paper. A little bit around. Very little bit. And then I put it on top the orange paper. All the way in the top. And I press it down really gentle. It might smell because it has uh, glue, you know, smell the glue like crazy glue. But it's a very, very glued. I got that in Hobby Lobby, Michael's. Or, I think Joanne Fabra has it, but it's a very good with all paper. So I do the other one. Same thing. I had a leaves on top of it. I glue it. And then I have the letters with a permanent marker and then I color it all the same. Like this. So now we take the yellow one and paste it on the top again. Paste it all the way in the top. Make sure it's not sticking out. Let's make sure it's all the way in the paper. Now we do another one. The letter L. Press it all the way down, really gentle. You don't want the paper get wet, or you don't want the paper get or like breaking out. You don't like ropes or anything like that. You want to be really gentle with your palm or your hand. So really gentle. And you don't want some glue spreading out. So you want to stay inside. Got one more. Another letter L.
Now we got the word, the letter fall. Now what we do next is some leaves. As you see in the corner of the leaves, you see like it look like a triangle. What you need to do is take this pumpkin at um, behind right here, you're gonna put the leaves like this. Not like this or like this, but like this. See? The round of the edge of the stem of the pumpkin, you paste it on right here. Now we take the glue again, the glue, Put all around the line of the stem and press it really gentle. It might get on your hand, but it'll come off your hand. Okay. Then you do the other one. The line of the edge, like this. You also could take a little piece of paper and wipe it off with the glue, because sometimes it can spread it out, so you don't want to smear all over the paper and make the paper look wet. You want to make the paper look dry. So you just take a little paper like you're scraping up. And you go like this. A little bit like this. And then you spread it on top of the paper. Or you can use the tip of your finger. There and one more. Now, you lined up all the banners. See all the lined up on the banner. Okay, now you take these leaves it could be soft paper leaves or the hard one I got the hard one and I got this from Hobby Lobby and you do you put it in the corner like this You take a, a scotch tape, you flip it over, and tape it in the back. So you don't want to tape it in the front, it looks terrible, but you tape it in the back. That way you can't see the tape. Take this, and you press it down. So it stays together. And now, oops, <laughs> got a little mistake, sorry. 
the F goes in this side. If remember, it doesn't have to be, you know, a little perfect, but the letter has to be the right way. So you can say false. Let's make another side on the right. <laughs> There we go. Now you take a, a brown paper, I mean, uh, brown leaves, and put it between between the those two banners in the middle, right here. Take a little bit of glue. Gently. As you know, this has a hole on it. See? So it might have a little glue coming up, like coming out. So you take a paper again and pat it down. Or you do it with your finger. And you put it on here. And now you do the next one. You turn it over. Also, I've noticed that I did one, I'm going to do another two tapes. So that way it will not flip when you hang it. You know, you can like decorate it on your TV stand or decorate it in your table or your doors. So you don't want things to flip. So you can use two tape, one on the top and one in the bottom. One second. And you do the same and it's this side. And then the other side. Okay, now you turn it over. You take another leaf and you put it in the middle.
Now you do the other side. This side. It looks like it, it doesn't stick well, so you can do is use a uh, scotch tape. Sometimes it is just sticks. Sometimes it doesn't. So usually I put tape or glue as much. Okay, now, next we need to use a string, a brown long string. You turn it over the banner. And on the line of the edge of the banner, you put the string on it like this it could be a long or an inch of a, a, a string where you want to how many banners you're going to make put it all around it on top and then you take a scotch tape the side here you go on this side here here And then one more. Then here we go. And there, here's the banner. Falls. So I hope you like my video and please help me to subscribe up, thumbs up, click on the uh, subscriber bells and you will have all the different craft every Monday and Friday you will get different craft ideas. So I hope you like it. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bells, thumb up. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.